What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and I just got out of the water on another search and recovery dive and I wanna show you some of the search conditions that we deal with a lot. Um, this was at another local marina and a gentleman had actually lost his wallet um, and he wasn't really sure what side of the dock he was on when it, fe you know, when it fell out of his pocket. But he gave us a call, we came down here to search. But I wanna show you some of the search conditions we deal with. The visibility at this particular part of the lake is very very bad without a light you ain't gonna see nothing it's it's almost pitch black there's a lot of silt on the bottom so it's very easy to stir up the turbidity and not be able to see even even less than what you can see and there's actually quite a bit of debris there there's quite a few trees so you know picking the right search um or using the right search procedures is definitely key to being successful during a search and recovery. Now, one thing that was in my favor, I didn't really have to have a reference line or a drop line uh, because there was a pole there that I used as a reference line. And of course, so I shimmy down the pole, I started looking for the object. Um, and then of course, once I found it, I had to navigate back to the pole area to make a good, slow, safe ascent. Now, being that this is a uh, highly populated area. It is a marina. There's a ton of boats coming in and out. And so I got always got to be cautious of that during my the ascent phase of the dive. But it was a successful dive. I'll go ahead and tell you that. But I want to show you just how, actually this was a brief dive, but I want to show you the conditions of the dive, just how difficult it can be sometimes. And then I'll kind of give you some final thoughts at the end.
So as you can see guys, it was a very successful dive. I was able to find the guy's wallet for him, made him happy. He didn't have to call the bank, cancel a bunch of cards and stuff like that. Um, and it was well worth him to pay me to find it versus buying a new wallet, getting all the new cards, getting a new set of driver's license, whole nine yards. But um, as you can see also, the visibility was very, very bad. It was blacked out conditions. Once I hit the bottom, anything I touched pretty much blacked it out. Um, and then of course, navigating back to the pole itself to make a good, slow, safe ascent uh, is of course vital for my safety because there are a lot of boats and I'm not sure if you could hear it, but there were about three boats coming in and out of the, the boat slips there as I was down underneath. But yeah, I appreciate you coming on this dive. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. Uh, if you want to do me a favor, share this video, hit the like button for me. It means a lot to me when you do that. But as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.